Hello and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to dive deep into one of the Python's most crucial features, indentation and code block. Now, understanding how indentation works is essential for writing clean and error-free code. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon so that you never miss out on our latest tech tutorials. So without any further ado, let's get started. Now, what if I ask you what is indentation, right? So in basic sense, indentation refers to the spaces or tabs placed at the beginning of a line of code, right? So in many programming languages, indentation is purely for readability, but in Python, it plays a fundamental role in defining the structure and the flow of the program. Unlike languages basically like Java or C++, Python uses indentation. Indentation in the most basic sense is giving spaces where the Python or the compiler would know what space to be given, when it needs to be given, what it represents. So, indentation in Python, basically Python uses indentation to determine how code blocks are grouped together. Okay, so now the other term that I'm going to refer here is code blocks in Python. Okay. So in Python, code blocks are sections of code that belong together. So these blocks can be a part of functions, loops, conditionals, classes and more. So the indentation level indicates which statements are part of a particular block. For example, the body of a function or the content inside the loop here okay, must be indented consistently show to show that they belong to that specific block, right? So def greet name. So all these th the three things here would belong to this particular block which is def. Okay. So this is the simple example to show how it is. Now in this function both the print statements are identified by four spaces. Right. One, two, three, four. This is the space that is referred to indicating that they are part of the greet functions block code. Right. So this is the function block code. It both these print statements represent this particular block. Okay, I will just showcase you. Yeah, so this other two print box, the print statements I'm referring to, and this is the def grid that is the entire block. So when the execution comes, this particular print command would run, then this would run, and then it would decide what to do next, depending on what next code is, right? So in this case, this, this indentation over here, right plays a pivotal role in defining how the function would be executed now again what is the importance of proper indentation so proper indentation is uh, vital in python for several reasons number one is syntax requirement so basically like unlike other uh, languages where indentation is optional right java does not use c++ does not use so but python enforces indentation to define the code structure as we mentioned right Again, right in this particular code, if I would have written this print command just below the def, then the result would be completely different. Okay, so indentation is should be quite proper when you are when you are writing it. It cannot be inaccurate, otherwise your results will be hampered. Number two is readability. So consistent indentation makes your code easier to read and understand, both for you and others who may work with your code. The third element is maintainability. Well indented code is easier to maintain and debug. Okay, so it it naturally becomes the case that when you have proper indentations, it is number one uh, amazingly good looking in terms of readability. Then when you are maintaining this code for line, let's say you are not talking about one or two lines of code, you are talking about thousand rows of code. So in that case, indentation plays a critical role in structuring your brain, maintaining the code easier and if you need to debug a particular row, right, you don't need to really look for it in the, in the code lines when it is not indented. So you just have to be very consistent with maintaining indentation throughout when you are working with Python. So again, it reduces the likelihood of introducing bugs when making changes, right. So now when I talk about indentation, right, they are essentially three types of errors that you would find. Number one is the indentation error that is unexpected intent. Okay, I'll talk about this with the code example in the next slide. But for now, there are three essential elements, indentation error, unexpected intent. Then is indentation error, unintent does not match any outer indentation level. 
The third one is a tab error, inconsistent use of tabs and spaces, right? So as I mentioned in this one, this is spaces, right? But there could be a case in which you put tab. In, in this case, you put spaces, right? If the, the, the spaces and the tab doesn't match, again, then that is an indentation error. So uh, the first one uh, we are talking here is indentation error, which is the unexpected intent. So this uh, error occurs when there is an unexpected indentation in the code. It usually means that Python encountered an in intended line where it was, wasn't expecting one, okay. So in this one, what the problem is that def greet name is there. So this part to run, right, the name command to run, the print should be below greet then it would consider it as one co code block. So this print statement is out of place. So hence the error here is the print statement should be intended. So basically again, understanding this common indentation errors can help you debug your Python code more effectively. Okay. So the second one is indentation error. Unintend does not match any outer indentation level. So what does this mean? This, this means basically that this ha error happens when the indentation levels are con inconsistent such as mixing spaces and tabs. So in this case, you can see here, this code block over here, def greet name, print is under greet, which makes it one complete block. But then the third element, welcome to Python programming, the print is in between def and greet, if you can properly see. So again, this is an unexpected indentation error. So this should not occur. It should again be under the print element to make it one complete block that could be executed properly. So again, the error here is the second print statement is not properly aligned with the first one, right? So we are understanding from the very basics when we are starting out with Python that what are the things that can cause the problem. The reason why we are putting this effort in getting you the errors first is because when you are starting with the code, you will encounter n number of, of syntax error that would you would uh, find. So to reduce that, to build the mindset that is required to learn Python, we are having this particular slide over here so that you know that these type of errors you should avoid doing when you are working on Python. Then comes a uh, tab error which is inconsistent use of tabs and spaces in indentation. So Python requires consistency in using either tabs or spaces for indentation. Mixing both can lead to this particular error in which, okay, let's say one print over here, right? This uses spaces, let's say four spaces or let's say three spaces. But the second one, right, even though it may seem that they are aligned, they are not. The second element is the, the one in which tab is used, whereas the first one spaces are used. So you have to be really consistent with either using tab or spaces when it comes to aligning the tasks or getting the proper indentation done. So now let's look at the best practices that are there for indentation. So to avoid any indentation issues and writing clean Python codes, follow the below best practices over here. Number one is use spaces over tabs. So the Python uh, community recommends using spaces instead of tabs, use four spaces per indentation level, right? So again, as mentioned that use four spaces and avoid tabs as much as you can. Then comes uh, consistent indentation. So ensure that all lines within the same code block are indented consistently. Mixing different numbers of spaces can lead to errors. Then comes configure your editor. So most modern code editors and IDEs can be configured to insert spaces when you press the tab key. So this basically ensures that the consistency is there across your entire code base. The <coughs> fourth element over here is uh, use linting tools. So, uh, flag 8 is 1, pylint is 1, which can automatically check your code for indentation, right? Uh, even Jupyter would have its own or it will just showcase an error or if it is aligned, it will just show that it's properly aligned. So, which would basically help you in maintaining a very clean code when it comes to uh, Python. Then comes uh, avoid deep nesting is like deep nesting means basically code under code under code. So, uh, when Python Basically, it allows for indentation with indentation. So, for example, in this code, let's say, right, if I have to again make another code block inside of this code block, it should be further indented, right? So, it will be like a step downward step ladder over here. Uh, one code over here, then here, then here, then here. So, avoid deep nesting, that's known as deep nesting. 
because it can be very hard to read at the end when you have 1000 rows of code at the end it will be really difficult for you to maintain that code to proofread that code or to find any bug that that could come when you are writing such long codes so aim for really clear and simple code structures as much as possible so now uh, at the end of this video these are the two questions that i have for you so you basically need to find the errors in these two codes that i mentioned over here and get the answers write your answers in the comments box below i will be telling the answers in the next video when i do it in the next video you would have the answer for these two in the meantime make sure you are attempting both these questions you need to find what is the error in this particular uh, code snippets both of these and write your answers in the comments below if you are learning to code you're probably someone who wants to be the master of the tech world join our job link data science and ai advanced boot camp at upgrad and gain the skills employers are looking for with a practical industry aligned curriculum and hands on project you'll not only learn from seasoned experts but also apply your knowledge to real world scenarios don't miss out click the link in the description to start your data science journey today now indentation and code block are foundational elements of python programming proper indentation not only ensures that your code runs without errors but also make it more readable and maintainable by following best practices and utilizing the right tools you can write clean and efficient python code remember Consistent indentation is key to unlocking Python's full potential. Keep practicing, stay mindful of your indentation levels and soon it will become second nature. In the next video, we shall be talking about variables and data types in Python. We believe that every individual has a unique path to success and sometimes all it takes is a little guidance to unlock your full potential. Our expert career advisors are ready to help you discover the path that's perfect for you. Don't miss out on this chance to invest in your future. Click the link in the description below to book your free counseling session now and let's start building the career you've always dreamed of. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might benefit from it. Don't forget to subscribe for more Python tutorials and programming tips. Thanks for watching and happy coding.